Have you ever wondered how these kind of pictures are made where there's one person standing still but the lights like whipping all around and making these cool effects, cool light trails? Well that's what we're going to be doing today. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create light trails in your photos. Before you get started with anything, you need to know that it's gonna to have to be dark for this kind of picture. Basically, how you take a picture like this is you use slow shutter speed. So shutter speed is when the flap on the camera opens and lets in a certain amount of light. So if you take a really fast picture, it's gonna open and close really fast, and therefore it's gonna catch an action shot, like if you're throwing something in the air or you're running or something. But if you open it for a really long time and the camera takes, let's say, two seconds to open, so it's like before it closes, then every piece of light in that two second is gonna get in the picture. So if you opened your camera and in that two seconds, a piece of light went through, or like a, a, your phone light even, went through the picture in that two seconds, well then every part of the picture that, that phone light went into will appear in the final picture. So you'll need to be perfectly dark to the picture we're doing today. The reason you need it to be dark is because you're gonna have that shutter speed open for about eight seconds, 10 seconds, and if you have it open during the day, there's gonna be so much light let in from like the sun and windows and sky, just so much light coming from everywhere. So do it at night. I'm gonna to explain to you how to do it now while it's still bright and everything, and then I'm gonna skip two night of me actually doing it. And what I'm gonna be using is these light stick things. So they're basically like little lightsabers. They look like this, they kinda, yeah, that wasn't very cool, but <laughs> anyway, they kinda do these light things. This one's blue, this one's orange. I can't remember where I got them, but they were rip off anyway. I'd recommend buying your own. Not even buying your own, sorry, just making your own. Basically, you can just get clear plastic tubing and then get a little colored paper and shine a torch through the bottom, I suppose. I haven't made one myself, I bought these. I thought they'd be a good investment. They were, ah, they're fine. Like I've used them a few times, but I don't use them enough to warrant. I think they cost like 10 euro each or something. Fine, anyway, I don't know. If you have 20 quid to burn on look two like little lightsaber toys things. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's how fun they get. So basically you're gonna put a torch in the bottom of these when they're long and the whole thing, you can use your phone torch, you can use any torch, is gonna light up blue. You're not gonna be able to see it now because it's so bright in here. But basically, I'm gonna get this stick and I'm gonna do these loops through the picture. And then whatever trail I draw through the picture, the result is gonna have that trail in the final picture, if that makes sense. I think it does. But anyway, I'm gonna wait until nighttime and once it's dark, I'm gonna head outside and gonna show you how to do it, how to set it up, your camera settings and what to do. All right, so I'm outside now. This is what they look like when they're actually lit up in the sky. As you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. You probably see in the video, it's making a light trail. So we're gonna have a trail like that. This one doesn't, I don't have two torches right now. I'm gonna try and get a second torch. So I'm gonna set my shutter speed to 10 seconds or 12 seconds, and then I'm gonna draw my trail with the light stick until I'm in position. Then I'm gonna hold it here, wait until the photo's taken. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the red light stick. I'm gonna trace my trail and then put it in the other position. I'm gonna be holding the red one in. And once I have my two pictures of each, the blue light trail and the red light trail, of me standing in the exact same position in each photo. I'm gonna combine them both together, so there's gonna be a blue light trail into where I'm holding it, then a red light trail in here, and it should hopefully look pretty cool. So we'll see how that goes. Next day now, basically I got the two pictures, the red picture and the blue picture, combined them together to get one big picture, put a few edits on it and this is the final result. So a lot of people have asked me about how I edit, I'm sorry I don't have an actual step by step each video, it's just it would take ages and not be that exciting. Basically I went to HSL sliders, selectively made the blue a little bit more green, made the orange a little bit more red and then I upped the saturation of both of them, up a bit of luminance, brought the exposure up and darkened the edges of the picture and this is the final result. So I hope you learned how to take a picture like that, basically slow shutter speed and then draw your light trail and whatever shape you want to do, then the shutter will close and then you have your picture. So yeah, if you have any questions on how to do these pictures or if I missed a piece of explanation you'd like to know more about, just let me know below. And on that note, just tap subscribe before you leave, like this video, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.